ships anchored along Buffalo's waterfront this holiday weekend. You do still have a shot. Seven of the ships are going to set sail to their next destination later this morning around 9 a.m. But four of the ships are going to stay here a little bit longer. Seven Eyewitness News reporter Jeff Rusek running through the details. All aboard. The tall ships are packing up and heading out. Since these massive vessels sailed into the Buffalo Harbor, 125,000 people stopped by Canal Side and the harbor. And according to some ship captains, everything on land was, well, in ship shape. For the first time out, we knocked this one out of the park, and that's really good to hear. Thursday and Friday, the Port of Call Buffalo Steering Committee agreed the lines were long and it was very hot. But for the people who run the show, was a chance to improve over the next few days. We learned some lessons along the way. There were glitches in the first day, out, but it's a, you know it's like learning to draw. The first sketch is not going to be a masterpiece. You just keep getting better. We solved a lot of our problems for the second day, and the third day is run very smoothly. The ships will be back. Plans are in place for the ships to return in 2022 and again in 2025. And while it may have taken hours for some to get on these boats, it will take a long time no matter what or when these ships are in town. We understand people don't like to stand in long lines, but these are relatively small ships for capacity and, and a lot of people are coming to see them. So this is typical of any tall ships festival. The crews will be setting sail for Cleveland starting at around 9. There won't be a parade of sails like Thursday. The boats will just leave when their crews are ready. One tall ship that will still be here is the Santa Maria. They'll actually be here for the rest of the week. If you really want to get on it, you still can. You just got to pay a little fee. Reporting in Buffalo, Jeff Rusak, 7 Eyewitness News.